well, the interior of the Magic Bag is just like a theater setting. There's a small stage. It's a cabaret-style setting. We host an eclectic mix of music ranging from classic rock, roots, rhythm and blues, to uh, contemporary um, alternative rock, indie rock. We want to keep eclectic music in Detroit, more of the roots stuff that comes through progressive rock guys like John Anderson of Yes, uh, Rick Emmett of Triumph. Les Zeppelin seems to be a favorite around here, um, Leon Russell. The Brewer View at the Magic Bag is uh, a night on Wednesdays or Thursdays, usually both during the week, uh, where we show a movie where we allow you to come in and drink beer, our beer of course, and liquor, and you can actually drink and enjoy the movie with your friends. The Magic Bag, a long time ago, used to be a movie theater, a shady movie theater of, um, you know, triple X features. So we had this equipment here. We have a 1965 Simplex uh, cinema. Everything that we do here at the Magic Bag for our Broom Views is 35 millimeter, uh, which is kind of unheard of these days in the digital era. Each one of the Broom Views is $2. Uh, doors are at 8 o'clock. Movie starts at 9.30. You can come see music four or five nights a week. You can also come see movies. It's the entertainment place in the middle of Detroit and the suburbs. People that live around here know they can come up to see a movie anytime they want. People that uh, live in the neighborhood know that they can stop up and check out any band at any given night. It's a progressive community that is definitely in tune to the times, like eight and a half to nine and a half mile on Woodward. There's many places to eat, very progressive, hip people that are always trying to do something creatively. We are definitely uh, one of the more smallest, independent, um, intimate venues around the Metro Detroit area. So when you walk into a concert hall and you're overwhelmed by this big space, it's a much warmer feeling room for people coming in and wanting just to enjoy a night out of entertainment. It's much more of a warmer sounding room for musicians. You know, we're the small intimate venue that can host uh, something of that magnitude without it being a Live Nation show or a big event. We're independent, man, we're mom and pops.